Hello there, my name is Luke and welcome to another non-league news flash, keeping you up to date with the latest non-league news from the last few days. If you're new around here on this channel, then we do match day vlogs, top 10 lists, as well as non-league news flashes just like this one. So to stay up to date with non-league football, remember to click that subscribe button. So let's get straight into the big news from the last few days. So first of all, up at Southport, Steve Burr, the manager, was sacked from Southport after about four months in charge. He has been replaced by Andy Priest, who was the director of football at Airbus UK in the Welsh Premier League. Steve Burr has got a job very quickly. Within a few days, he was appointed as the new manager of Staley Bridge Celtic in the National League North, a club that he left in 2010. As joint managers, Steve Halford and Paul Phillips were sacked after just a few months in charge with the club down in the relegation zone. Staying in the National League North and with managerial departures, Dominic Roma, the manager of Gainsborough Trinity, he has resigned as well as Nicky Law, the manager of Alfreton, who's been there for around about 10 years. He has left to go and have a role within the Youth Academy at Burnley. He's reportedly been looking for a way out of Alfreton for some time. The draw for the quarterfinals of the FA Trophy were also made this week, and the games are as follows. Dulwich Hamlet will play Macclesfield, York City will play Brackley, Boreham Wood will play Lincoln City, and Tranmere Rovers will play Barrow. And the awards for Manager of the Month in the National League, National League North and National League South are as follows for January. John still got the award for the National League, he manages Dagenham Redbridge. Billy Heath of FC Halifax Town, he got the award for the National League North. And Daryl McMahon of Ebbsfleet United, he got the award for the National League South. And the awards for Player of the Month for January are as follows. John Rooney got the award for the National League, he plays for Wrexham. Michael Nottingham, a defender for Salford in the National League North. And Ian Herring of Hungerford in the National League South. Also some transfers that occurred this week. Ashley Chambers joined Nuneaton Town on loan until the end of the season from Grimsby Town in the Football League. Also leaving Grimsby on loan was Luke Summerfield who joined Macclesfield on loan until the end of the season. Also going to Macclesfield was Connor Jennings on loan from Tranmere for one month. Bonzangala has joined Dover after a very, very weird situation. So basically what's happened with Bonzangala this season, he was at Barnet at the start of the season. He then joined Eastleigh for a club record fee just a few months ago, around about 60 grand. He was then released by Eastleigh at the end of January after they just paid a load of money for him. They decided to release him and he then signed for Gillingham in the Football League, although he actually couldn't sign for Gillingham because you're only allowed to play for two professional clubs per season now for some weird reason. So he had to then not sign for Gillingham and he's gone inside for Dover, even though Dover are classed as a professional club because they play in the fifth tier or above. It's a weird law that definitely needs some clarification because as far as the law goes, he basically shouldn't have signed for Dover. Also signing for Dover is a very familiar face. It is Nicky Devedix back on loan there for one month from Hartlepool. He was there last season and scored 16 goals for Dover. Michael Green has left Eastleigh by mutual consent. He had their player of the month awards for the last three months in a row, yet Martin Allen, the manager, has still decided that he's not needed for some reason. Very strange situation. And finally, another strange situation is Lee Hughes, who declared his interest in the manager's job at Worcester City about 48 hours ago. However, he's now actually left Worcester City. He was their top goal scorer, 13 league goals this season. And in the space of 24 hours, he's gone from wanting the manager's job to now leaving the club and going and signing for Telford. Telford are direct relegation rivals for Worcester, so it doesn't really make a lot of sense that they've let him go. So that's it for the latest non-league news flash. If you've enjoyed this video and found it useful, then make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to stay up to date. And I will leave you with the fixtures for this weekend.